White and blue coverage this afternoon, a history-making day in Sheboygan. Voters are taking part in the city's first ever election for mayor in a recall. It's pitting embattled the incumbent Bob Ryan against challenger Terry Van Akron. Nick Montez reports from Sheboygan where turnout is expected to be high. It all comes down to today as voters head to the polls. Mayor Bob Ryan will face his challenger, Terry Van Akron, again. Now, the mayor was out getting last minute support. Mr. Van Akron says that he will be mayor. There's a showdown in Sheboygan that might feel like deja vu for voters. I'm an early riser and I thought, let's get over there and let's get this done. Lawrence Rupp was one of the first to vote this morning between Mayor Bob Ryan and Terry Van Akron. Rupp says Ryan has to go. It's really disappointing that we have a mayor who has behaved as badly as Bob Ryan. Bad behavior like Ryan's past battle with alcohol and a sexual harassment lawsuit against him the city settled. Ryan hopes voters can overlook his personal faults and he says vote based on the future. I work every day to make sure that my personal life never again gets in, in the way of, uh, of my position as mayor of the city. But mayoral candidate Terry Van Akron says Ryan's policies aren't good city business and neither is his past behavior. And it's just the, the controversy and the um, and the distractions that have come from it from the Bob. Thank you. Ryan and his supporters out on 14th and Erie try to garner last minute support. It's a traditional spot on election day. Well, Bob's got a good plan for this city and he's been implementing it while mayors. But it seems many voters have already made up their minds on who they want in the mayor's seat. May the best man win, that's all I can say. Now, if Van Akron wins, the city clerk needs to certify those results and we could see him in the mayor's seat as soon as March 5th. On your side in Sheboygan, Nick Montez for today's TMJ. Four.